dear friends, welcome again to my channel. My name is Rafael Fernandez, I'm a language teacher. How are you doing? Hola, queridos amigos. Hola, queridas amigas. Bienvenidos, bienvenidas de nuevo a mi canal. Me llamo Rafael Fernandez Louro y soy profesor de idiomas. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? When learning a new language, reading is a good activity to learn and improve new vocabulary. Depending on your level, you start with easier readings and go to more difficult ones. Al aprender un nuevo idioma, leer es una buena actividad para adquirir y mejorar vocabulario nuevo. Dependiendo de vuestro nivel, empezáis con lecturas sencillas y vais a otras más difíciles. In this video, I'm going to read a story on autumn. Autumn is an amazing, colorful season. Leaves on trees turn red, orange, yellow, and brown, and there are lots of popular traditions. En este video voy a leer un relato sobre el otoño. El otoño es una increíble estación llena de colorido. Las hojas de los árboles se vuelven rojas, naranjas, amarillas y marrones, y hay muchísimas tradiciones populares. In English, there are two main names to refer to this season. Autumn and fall. Let's know why. En inglés hay dos nombres principales para referirse a esta estación. Autumn y fall. Vamos a conocer por qué. Enjoy the story. Que disfrutéis el relato. Let's go. Vamos allá. Goodbye, summer. Hello, autumn. Or is it fall? In half of the world, summer has come to an end. Swimming pools have closed, children are back in school, the days grow shorter and the weather cooler. In many parts of the United States, trees appear on fire as their leaves turn radiant shades of gold, orange and red. From the Pacific Northwest to New England to the Mid-Atlantic and Appalachian states, the autumn leaf-changing scenery is breathtaking. Autumn is also called fall. This is probably because it is the time when trees lose their leaves and they fall to the ground. During fall, children around the United States love to gather leaves into large piles and jump into them. But why do we have two names for one season? In the English language, calling the season autumn first began in the 12th century but the word was not commonly used until about the 16th century. This is about the same time that people began using the word fall to mean autumn. However, even earlier, the season was called harvest. In the early days of the United States, autumn was a time for preparing for the winter months by collecting and preserving food. People gathered corn, nuts and berries. They also dried in salty meats to feed them through the long, cold winter. In modern times, refrigeration, grocery stores and pizza delivery help us survive the winter. But in autumn, we still need to prepare. If you have a fireplace or a wood stove in your home, you will collect chop or buy firewood. You may also need to prepare your home by fixing or weatherproofing doors and windows. If you have a car, you make sure the tires and fluids are also ready for the cold winter months. These preparations are called winterizing. Actually, many people winterize their wardrobes too. They put away their lightweight summer clothes and flip flops and bring out their coats, sweaters and boots. To prepare for the winter months, some animals gather food. The squirrel is well known for his skill in this activity. The squirrels gather and store seeds and nuts in their nests. They search the ground for fallen nuts. They pick nuts from, the, from tree limbs, sometimes throwing them down to the ground below. This hurting helps them survive the winter, and it gives us a common expression. To squirrel something away means to save it for future use. Things you squirrel away become your stash. 
We often use this expression when talking about money and food. But any resource you may need later can be squirreled away. For example, a child might squirrel away chocolate, hiding their starch from brothers and sisters. This guarantees the child can satisfy their sweet tooth at any time. Unlike squirrels, you can squirrel things away during any time of the year. Also, unlike squirrels, who are very furious of activity during the autumn, many people slow down during this time. The expression autumn years refers to the later years of a person's life, especially after a person has stopped working. For example, she worked hard her entire life, she saved her money and invested it wisely, so she was able to enjoy her often years in comfort. She was finally able to travel around the world. This time of life can also be called twilight years. Regardless of your age, autumn can be a sad time for gardeners. People who spent the entire summer cultivating their gardens may feel sad to see the empty garden beds of autumn. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story. Here below you can find the text to read it again and the link to the source if you like to listen to it uh, with American accent. Bueno, espero que os haya gustado el relato. Aquí debajo podéis encontrar el texto para leerlo de nuevo y el enlace a la fuente si queréis escucharlo en acento inglés americano. That was all. See you again. Take care. Bye. Enjoy autumn. Eso fue todo. Hasta la próxima. Cuidaos. Disfrutar mucho del otoño. Y adiós. Bye bye.